Our Ashley Glass has been out here all day long on the scene talking to so many people, but she talked to the homeowner tonight about the, I guess you could call it the bizarre timing that this sinkhole happened. Ashley? Bizarre timing, Jameson, because it was just a few days ago sinkhole repairs got underway at this very same home. Come tonight in the backyard, a sinkhole 90 feet across, 56 feet deep, a sinkhole quadrupling in size just since this morning. The Dupree family home crumbling. A sinkhole at least 90 feet across and more than 50 feet deep pulling it down. And I saw this green room out of the back window just like three feet off the ground. So I knew there was something going on sinkhole wise. Mike Dupree's daughter Ivy the first to hear the monster this morning. I thought maybe someone maybe it was a screen or um, the screen door not closing right or someone was trying to break in but I didn't expect this. The Dupree's escaping but struck by the timing of this massive sinkhole. Back left side where the screen room is and the uh, Florida room that's where they started working. Just two days ago. Uh, two days ago they started the filling before that they had to drill all these pipes down. Repairs just getting underway 48 hours ago on what Dupree describes as minor sinkhole activity at his home. This picture exclusive to ABC Action News from the company heading up repairs snapped two years ago. The house in good shape. CRA tells us only a few cracks and loose soil detected. Nothing to indicate something of this size was imminent. So, so bizarre. The hole sucking in a boat, Dupree's pool and porch, his neighbors too, spurring plenty of questions. Where do you sleep tonight? And gratitude. My daughter, because she woke us up, she heard it first. She heard it and she was right, there was something wrong. That's it. You know, I'm, I'm glad we got out and all the rest and all the things that will follow, we find out and we figure it out. Back out here live, we keep hearing crashing noises coming from this backyard. Sure signs that this sinkhole is still growing. At this very hour, I'm told two homes are condemned because of the sinkhole. Those homes likely to be torn down tomorrow. Live in Dunedin, Ashley Glass, ABC Action News.